Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating an amazing drop down here. You see, I have select your country, and if I pick America, it's going to display America. If I picked on England here, if I select England, it says it's going to display England here. The same with the other countries here. So if you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe. To get started, I'm going to click on the empty screen then select the local variable here i'm going to be creating all the variables that we're going to be needing for this project so click on the variable here the first we want to create the name should be country one and i'm going to copy this so the first country here i would have america america create another string variable so I'll paste that country two. This is going to be England. So I'll create another one here, string. This is country three. This is going to be India. Then I will create the last country here, string. Country four. This is going to be Japan here. So now I'm going to add an additional string here. I'll call that option. So this will be holding the text select country. So we can create other variables, which is the color. So I can name the white primary. Then I'll create another variable here, color. So I will name this text color. And we can actually go with black here. So I will pick black here. As in the last color here should be a hoffa. Hoffa. Then I'm going to pick this color I'm having here. So if you want to use the same hexa, you can pause it and then copy this hexadecimal. So one thing we want to do here is I will hold shift and select these four countries right click and then a new group so double click on the new group and uh, change that to countries so click on all variable you see we have a group called countries here so i'm going to select this here i want to select this it's not a color so for this i'll right click if you're on mac you can use your two fingers on your trackpad so here i'm going to new group so double click on the new group this will be our colors then we're left with one item here which is this we can just add that to a group right click then new group so this i can just double click here and change that to util utility so i will close this we are done with the setting up of the variable the next thing we want to do here is i will add a text here so I will name this as the option here. So once I've done this, I will press the shift A. After doing that, I can add this. Let's say make this E here. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that this is starting on the right hand side. So I can do this. Then let's add a field to this so I will select this four dots here and then pick the primary so for my text I'm going to select the option and then I'll make sure I'm applying the text color here the next thing we want to do is to add a little border radius 4 to this after doing this we can now convert this to a component by clicking on the top item so i'm going to click on this plus sign this time again to create a variant after doing that we're going to change the color but this we can rename this variant name here to hoffa hoffa after selecting this we want to change the color of this so I will click out and then select this so that we can change the color. 
So I'll scroll down to fill and then add this hotfire here. So we're done with this section. The next component I want to create is I want to click on this dot here. Then we can go to components. The next thing we want to do is we want to take this from our assets. So make sure you're clicking on asset, drag this and then drop this here. So I want to duplicate this in four different places. Ctrl D and I will make sure it aligning, touching each other. So I will press Ctrl D, Ctrl D to duplicate again. So after doing this, I'm going to highlight all of this item here. So once you've done this, you can decide to put them in an auto layout. So we can press shift A, to put them in an auto layout. So now we can apply a background to this. So to do that, I'm going to click on this item here and select our primary color. So we've added a fill to this. The next thing we want to do is we want to go up and change the border radius to four. Once we have that, we have all our options here. So we need this to have different options, the countries that we just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I want to apply the variable. So once you select this text here, you scroll down and you're going to see this. So I'm going to select this and we now have countries. So I'll select this to America. So I'll double click to select this text and then I'll click on this and then select country two. So I'm going to double click again on this. So now apply the variable country three. I will double click and then apply this country four. So please, if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, please kindly hit the thumbs up button. So now we've applied all our variables here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create another text here. So select. So we can add this to an auto layout by pressing shift A. Once we've done that, I'm going to create a chevron to indicate if this is open or closed. So hold shift while doing this so that you can get straight lines. So once you've done that, you can just click on done. So we have a chevron here. So I'm going to drag this and drop it in here. So once you've done that, I'm going to lock this here. And then let's try to reduce this. Okay, three is okay. So select this particular frame and let's add a background to that. So we can sleek on this dots and then apply our primary background. So I want to check the width of this is 180. I will make sure that this is also having the width of 180. So I can adjust that here. 180 and change the direction to left. The spacing between them, I will click on this and change that to auto so that we can have this pushed to the end. Once you've done this, we can now convert this to a component. To do that, we're going to select the component here. After which we're going to select the add variant. So now the next thing we want to do, we want to rotate this here. So double click to select this item and change the angle to 180. So it is now in an opposite direction. So please let's select this and then change the border radius to four. I'll do this and change this also to four here so that we can maintain the same design. So having this, we can now move into the font part, which is the prototyping. So to get 
a good prototyping. Let's select the frame here and then I'll be picking iPhone 13 mini. So I can just change the background here a bit one at one. Yeah. So I think let's use F A F A F A by this. So now we can select the prototype here. After doing that, I want to do something here. When the user click on this, we want to display this. If the user click on this, we want to close this. But before we do that, let's make one adjustment. Please, let's click back on our layer here. I want to copy this. But before I do that, this frame, we're going to convert it to a component so that we can get an instance of this. So select this and click on this component here, create a component. Once you've done that, you can click on the assets. So now you're going to see um, frame five, which have the list of all the countries. So you can drag it and then drop it here. So we have an instance of this. So click on layer. What I want you to do here is select this and press Control X or Command X. So click on this second variant and I want you to paste it inside this. Make sure you're selecting this Control V here. So let me adjust this iPhone 13 mini. Let's select the frame and let's add this up so that we can see everything. But you notice this becomes clumsy. So I'm going to make sure I'm selecting this list of countries here. And one thing you should know is if you select variant two, so what we want to do, select the variant, that's the whole variant two here. Select this and let's change this to open. So we have the default here. You can name that to maybe open or whatever, but we can leave that to default. Once you've done that, if you select the open, click on the eye icon here. So once everything is hiding, then you are on the right track. So make sure that when you click on this, everything here, it's not visible. So I'm going to select this frame here. That's the list of countries. After doing that, we're going to give that a position of absolute. So now, if you want to move these items, I recommend you use the shift on your keyboard. Don't use the mouse. So use the shift on your keyboard. So you can select the open here and then close it. And then we are on the right track here. So you can adjust that. So we can now fully move to the prototype section. So once the user click on this, want to move to this. So let's start with this. Drag this to this here. So now on click. So we can add the smart animate. If you're having instance, let's change that to smart animate so that we can have some interaction and animation. So from here, drag this to this here. So on click, we also want to change back to default. Another section we need to add the prototype is this. So once the user click on this, we want to move to this. But this time now, instead of on click, it will be while hovering. So we can close that. So far, this is what we want. So I'm going to apply the variable, the variable we created here. So you can select this and I think I'll go back to design and then apply a variable, which is how you till this option here. So I think I will do the same for this, select this and then apply the variable util here. Select country. So I can move back to the prototype here. So let's click on the asset and drag this here. That's the select country. I'll drag it here. I'll drop it. So I can select this and then shift then tap on your keyboard 
So let's click on this. We have our items. So if I hover over this, let's say we have our items here. So now we want when I select America, it should be displayed here. I'm going to close this and let's start that. So when the user click on America, what we want to do is make sure you're selecting this America. Then we want to add an interaction here. So on click, we want to set variable. So here we want to set the option here to country one, which is America. Then the next thing we're going to do is to select this plus sign here. And we want to change this to from open to the default. So now let's close this and try to open this prototype again. When I click on this, I'm going to click on America. You see, we have this. But then if I open this and click on England, we have to do the same for England. So I'm going to do that with England, double click on England, now click on the plus sign here make sure you're on the prototype mode so on click we want to set variable so the variable we're setting is this option here so i'm going to set that to country two after you've done that you can click on this then let's add another interaction here this time we want to change this and this is what you want to change from property one. We want to change it back to default. If I close this and I click on this, so now we can open this, select America, and then click on this, select England, and we have our options. So you can pause the video and try that for the third one, which is India. So the last one, which is Japan, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set a variable, which is util. And then we're going to set that to country four. And we can add another interaction here, which is changed to from open to the default. So now if I select this here, we can open this. If I select Japan or if I select India, if I select England, we have this. This is how to create a drop down like a professional in Figma. So if you're new to my channel, just kindly subscribe for more updates. Thank you.